Hi Capricorn, welcome to your 2024 predictions. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle. This is for Capricorn Sun and Capricorn Rising. For 2024, general reading, leaving this open to spirit. So whatever comes through in terms of your life, love, career, finances. Let's take a look here, Capricorn. I've been meditating on your energy. So just a few more shuffles and we'll get started with your reading. Capricorn, if you like my readings, please do press that thumbs up button before we get started. I'd really be appreciative if you would. Thank you so much. Welcome to my newcomers. I hope that you enjoy the reading and I hope that you consider subscribing at some point. Capricorn, let's see what's up for 2024 for my Capricornians out there. Alrighty. What is ahead? What's in store for my Capricorn viewers? For Capricorn Sun and Capricorn Rising, please, Spirit, what do we have? For Capricorn, okay. Let's get started with some oracles. I'm going to get your spirit animal or guide for the year. So let's take a sneaky peek at that. For my Capricorns. Ooh. Oh, we've got the Raven and the Ram. Wow, I'm going to take both of them. You may use the energies at the same time or separately throughout the year. The Ram, associated with Aries, of course. First sign of the Zodiac. So new beginnings. Capricorn, you've got many gifts and you're a problem solver. You're someone who pushes through pushes on, solves problems. If you hit a roadblock, you, you search for a way that you can dislodge the blockage so that you can push on through. You have a very powerful mind and with patience you can reach any kind of uh, mountaintop that you choose to climb. Spirit is saying never give up. Good luck is on your side. Raven is associated with a shaman-like energy, which is associated with magician. So here it is about using the gift of your mind, your intelligence and your perseverance for the good of yourself and for other people. There is power in your wisdom and there is power in your mind and in your words. Also, I see this as connecting with the elements, using tools, resources that you have around you. To, uh, to achieve your goals throughout the year. So I will leave those there for a moment and let's take a look at the theme for my Capricorns, the theme of 2024. Please show me the theme for my Capricorn Sun and Rising signs. Hidden Tears, oh, well I don't like that. Hidden Tears. It's uh, number 13, which, um, lucky for some, it's, it's a, uh, it, it can be a, a lucky number. You know, some of you may be Sagittarian Capricorn cusps, I'm getting that. You're used to hard work, and you're used to hard work paying off. So when it doesn't, there can be uh, tears, but yes, beneath the surface. It does feel like not wanting to come out and show emotion. Why? Because deep inside there is hurt, there is a wounded you, uh, perhaps even a shyness, a reluctance to be seen, wanting to hide, waiting till you feel better, unsure when the when the tears will stop flowing, if at all. So this is about holding on to sadness until the tears stop flowing. Okay, what I'm getting around this is if you've felt that you've had to hide yourself over the last few years or you've felt like you had to hide your, your emotions, if you've had to be very stoic, if you've only revealed parts of yourself that are the outer you, you know, the, the bright face that you show the world here, Capricorn, that have putting on a happy face. In 2024, you're ceasing to be careful. 
You're showing all of who you are. Capricorn, you deserve support, love and acceptance just as you are. So there's no need to hide your tears, your fears, for they are a blessing. This is about a need to find help in the healing. And it begins with allowing those tears to flow. So no more hiding away any sorrows here, Capricorn. Get it out, share them and let them be dissolved out into the ether. Okay, Capricorn, let's get some advice for you for 2024. Advice for Capricorn. Advice for Capricorn. Be bold. Yeah, that's that Aries energy, cardinal energy. Be the leader. Make the first move. Do what you've been putting off. Say what you've been putting off saying. Feel what you've, what you've been putting off feeling. And when it comes to the energy for the year for my Capricorns, we've got a revelation and personal transformation. Wow, that's powerful energy. Very scorpionic. So whatever is being revealed, I feel it's it's you. It's, it's an energy of, of you uh, really coming out and uh, not being afraid or fearful of showing the world who you are and say, this is me. I get you saying, this is me, and you know what, take it or leave it, but I like who I am, and I am going to, I'm going to achieve whatever I set my mind to in 2024, and you're not going to let anyone hold you down, hold you back, or put you off, or say to you things that uh, that could block you. I get to, whatever blocks were, they, they are in the past. You're finding the solution the way ahead. Past the roadblocks. In 2024. Okay. So, let's take a look here. Capricorn, I've managed to uh, mess up my spread here. But uh, let, let's see where this is going for my Capricorns. Two of Pentacles, I love that. So, starting off the year here, Capricorn, it does feel that you're just kind of holding. You're holding steady, you're maintaining balance, you don't want any anything to throw off your balance. And that's understandable, so anything that's thrown your way, I feel you're dealing with it on an as-needed basis. But you're not, certainly not looking to add any drama to your life here. And that includes drama that comes from other people. The Page of Cups. I feel that there's good things happening in 2024. Good news coming your way. Uh, there's a little bit of shyness here. I do see that. Uh, I, do, I do get you as, as someone here who has the potential to find love if you haven't got that in your life in 2024 but just a little bit of a, a heads up here Capricorn uh, that if you are feeling a little bit shy Spirit is saying don't let that hold you back uh, be bold make the first move tap into that cardinal that uh, ram like Aries energy that is uh, hidden beneath the surface some of you may have an Aries placement of course but that's doesn't have to be the case I just feel like um, for you it's not about hiding anything hiding who you are, hiding your, hiding your beautiful self, but getting out there and showing the world who you are and attracting someone who's interested, but there's this energy of shyness around you, Capricorn. The magician, there it is, there's that shaman. Here it is. Yep. Using the power that is within you and all around you uh, to... Oh, I'm, I just got this message from Spirit. The element of surprise. Surprising someone with an admission, with a revelation. Oh, Capricorn. Are you surprising a secret love here? Are you, are you interested in someone that you haven't revealed it to yet? Oh, for some of you, it's you that's uh, revealing. You have feelings for someone. For others of you, someone's doing that to you. 
Ooh, nice energy there. Uh, unexpected. Mm -hmm. Two of Wands, another two. I get that as boldness, an element here of boldness, making that move. And not being afraid to show who you are, who you have become. I get an element of uh, confidence here, working on your confidence. And with the Page of Wands, I love that. This is, this is a brand new you, this personal transformation here, Capricorn. It's uh, very passionate, it, it's very exciting. I'm seeing you as, as almost Aries-like here, Capricorn, which is interesting energy that I'm picking up around you. It's like you've, you've swapped places with Aries, and Aries is being a little bit more rational, and you're being a little bit more uh, spontaneous, a little bit more uh, adventurous. Yeah. Okay. All right. What you should avoid this year is the being the hermit, huh? Or sloth-like. No. My spirit is saying get yourself out there, enjoy yourself, enjoy your life, socialize, do whatever you want to do. Of course we all have our um, limits when it comes to how we want to, uh, to put ourselves out into the world and I feel that you're going to find that, um, that balance this year of you time, individual time, and time where you spend with uh, with friends, family, uh, spouse, or even a, a new lover here, guys. I'm picking up for a lot of my Capricorns here. You're going to get a new lover, a passionate lover in your life in 2024. What you should embrace is the Three of Cups here. There's that socialization. Ooh, party. Uh, getting your party on here, Capricorn, you are. Oh, hello, we've got five of wands around you, you know, that's competition. You know what? Yep, the world is full of people. There's a heck of a lot of us. <laughs> so I, I get you not being afraid to, to get yourself out there, put yourself in the direct line of competition with others, but then again I get other people competing for you. So when it comes to, to your life, you're not fearful of being... You know, being part of the world, being part of a social group. <coughs> yeah, okay. And then we have the Seven of Swords, which is interesting. Ooh. You know what I'm picking up with this Seven of Swords, Five of Wands energy? It's like you're coming out the unexpected winner. You're you're gonna you're gonna get the prize here. You're going to it, it's it's Capricorn for the win because you do it with the element of surprise, the unexpected, and you undercut other people. It's like you're jumping the queue here, jumping to the head of the line, and people aren't even expecting it. It's like I get these people thinking, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the job here, or I'm gonna get the person, or I'm gonna get. I'm going to get the, uh, the, the, the the cash or whatever it is that uh, that you're competing for here, Capricorn. And while everyone's just kind of fighting amongst themselves there, here comes unexpected Capricorn from the back of the line, whoosh, right to the front of the line, and before anyone's realized it, you've run off with the prize. <laughs> so Capricorn, whatever that is, I mean, it could literally be anything, couldn't it? It could be a job that you've always wanted. It could be, um, uh, you could win, win some money here for some of my Capricorns, not all of you. For others of you, it's 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 like a running a running away with the uh, prized catch. You know, if it comes to uh, a, a love or a a romance here. Yeah, it's it's Capricorn for the win. I see it. Uh, when it comes to your money, let's take a look. Capricorn for the win. You know, hiding those tears. You've been hiding those tears for so long here, Capricorn. But you're gonna let it out release it out to the world right and get yourself right back out there into the flow of life okay what do we have here working from home okay some of you could be i get some of you have a dog um, 
lab golden retriever for some of my uh, Capricorns out there. Um, okay, unexpected, unexpected. Watch for unexpected expenses, but well, yeah, that's for some of you, but for the majority of you here, I just feel like unexpectedly things are coming together for you. It's, you've probably spent some time thinking, oh, I've tried, it, it doesn't seem to be working. In 2024, by persevering, not giving up, you're going to achieve. You, you, you're going to achieve it, and, and it's unexpected probably for you as well. Yes, there could be some money, unexpected uh, expenses involved with this. There could be. Okay, we've got sale here. Unexpected expenses. Oh, uh, okay, well, for some of you here, you could pick up a bargain. Like, you may have an unexpected expense, but watch for discounts, sales. You might be able to get it for less or negotiate a cheaper price. For some of you, you you're uh, putting a, your services up for sale or whatever you have that you're selling online. You could have some kind of blowout sale here that um, that that you pay that you use to pay off some unexpected expense. And we've got butterfly here changes. Yeah, um, there's that transformation again. It's going to be an unexpected thing, a, a revelation, uh, just how things change for you, uh, for the better. Capricorn in 2024. Now, your final message here, final message for Capricorn, final message for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Rejuvenating rain, yes, clearing the past to heal the present and to uh, and to look forward to the future. Any other messages for Capricorn for 2024, please, Spirit? Say so finding sanctuary, which talks about um, this hermit-like energy, which you've been in for a while. I feel it's because you've had to heal from a past love affair some of you might have been divorced something there that that you really finding difficult it, it was it was something that was you found very emotional but you felt like you had to hide it you hermited yourself away out of trying to keep yourself from the drama of people around you uh, you, you've kind of kept your distance from people. I get that for a lot of my Capricorns out there. But it's time for healing. It's time for mending and releasing what you need to release here. So that you can fully leave the past and the past and cross over. Double message here about clearing the past to heal the present and to move on to the future. I feel that it's happening as we speak here at the beginning of 2024. You're, you're really, you're really knuckling down and you're, you're not, you're not the type of person here Capricorn in 2024 who's going to hold on to this. No, no not anymore, not anymore, it's not you anymore. You're ready. You're ready for the new. You're ready for something that takes you in a positive new direction. Moving forward. And one more here for Capricorn. Yeah, and, and great adventure. Taking that risk. Venturing forward. Capricorn, I'm going to leave it there and wish you all the very best with this. If you'd like a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com, or you can go to my Etsy store. The link is down below in the descriptions box. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this reading or gotten something out of it. Please do share me on your social media, especially if, especially if you know a Capricorn who would enjoy this reading. And if you are a newcomer, I would love to have you subscribe. I wish you all the very best here, Capricorn. Please take care. Have a happy, healthy, safe 2024. And bye for now.